So, um, yeah, let's see here. We got the CEF UV earlier today. <clears throat> let's see. How much leftover neutronium do I have? Eh, 14 ingots. I do get a considerable amount from the uh, Tier 9 miner. Let's see, that's. Seven, eight, nine. Oh, essentially a stack of neutronium. Yeah, I don't even know why I got the calculator out for that one. That's 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 an easy math one. Cause it's nine to a single ingot, so sixty-four ingots. The one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, forty-two, um, and that's times two. Shoot, we're gonna have to do another two of the eternium plated I think <clears throat> so um yeah because 64 plus 14 that's 78 and we need 84 for the neutronium plating. I don't know if I've made... Oh, we've made one. Okay, I'll take that back. 82 for that. But we only have... We're only going to have 78, so we'll still be short a couple there. So... Let's, uh, let's, let's talk just... Like, kind of automation... What are all the components required for the warp engine? Uh, I believe that one has a lot of subcomponents to it that um, we might be able to speed up. Is there a. Oh, there is a fluid molten crystal matrix. Nice. So, stuff like that is going to be on hold. I'm not going to do any automation for that at this point. Uh, iron, iron bars, item dislocator. All that's quite simple. Um, the dust. We're going to do the dust um, from... A pulverizer with the actual draconium you get. That guy there. Because again, that's fluid. So. We can do that right now. I do believe. We just need uh, Ivy Winters. I will downgrade it for now because um, yeah I don't want to consume all of our draconium draconium is kind of still expensive at this point Guess it finished? Yes. I wish there was a better way to get Draconian Dust. Hmm. A 
packager with the small stuff. There's nothing we can do to... Uh, sure, why not? Nothing for that, really. <clears throat> so we'll be pulverizing... to get the dust. Oh, cool. We can use that version of the dust for the dislocator, too. Nice. That's good. That's basically the only thing that I was concerned about there, so... Uh, Draconium... Face... Conveyor... Bus... Uh, cables... And uh, grab a wrench. Since ours got all used up. And a uh, drawer. And we're going to downgrade it to just a single stack. Because we we're not going to use up a lot of it to start with. Just a couple of warp engines. But once we get the fluid and then oh dear I may have spoke too soon about the server being stable now yeah what's going on guys and uh, da -da 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 -da. nope nope that's not what I wanted you can auto output there god damn it guys Desync, uh, we need a chest. Import mode, take some draconium. Chests are magic in terms of inventory. De desyncs and, and resyncs and stuff. Man, it's going slow again. Alright, and then... Uh, See? Alright. So it's gonna... probably pull another stack, I believe. And it's, it's going to stop around there. Perfect. So, three stacks of backlog, one stack in there. Very nice. I mean, it doesn't look like it's using a lot of power. Two of those, four of those, four. Yep, that's right. And that makes a chaotic core. Awesome. So I th think that means the one that I started is done, and I can add the next one to it. Yes. One, two, three, four. That guy. And that guy. One, two, three, four. Got a nice view from up here. Watching the moon. It's a very nice moon. It's not skipping a lot, so server seems okay-ish. TPS has been relatively stable. Look at that. 
100% overall. Amazing how when you don't include magic mods, TPS stays relatively sane. For the most part. Da -da 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 -da. I'll have to check that dislocator recipe though. Because making draconium dust, if it's trying to do that, then let's check that out. So dislocator. Nice. It does ordick. Sweet. All right. Uh, back to warp engine. So let's go ahead and get rid of our draconium dust recipe. Because that was not a pretty one. The uh, draconium dust, chemical reactor with dragon's breath, manilium dust. Uh, dragon's breath we get, that's fine. Manilium dust, mix a recipe, cobalt, ardite, mana dust. Mana dust, yeah, you, you get where I'm going with that, right? So that should save us a couple uh, bites of auto processing by just doing the one right there. Uh, those, that's all fine. Draconium ingots, we kind of automate at this point. I don't know if we have a recipe somewhere for that. If we do, it would be worth getting rid of that as well. Cool. Doesn't look like we do. That's good. Alright, what's next? Uh, advanced dislocator, same thing there. All of that's... I think I might have this as the recipe for dragon eggs. So it's going to try to make the uh, tier 6 miner, even though it gets sufficient dragon eggs, so it's probably not going to, yeah, it's not going to be an issue for a while. Let's just get rid of that recipe if we can. Because that just complicates things, since we have plenty of dragon eggs. Leave it in the system. Warp engine. And then we got all the, uh, Enderium. Don't think we automate Enderium. We probably should. That's, that's an easy win if we haven't automated that one yet. Enderium ingot. Let's see, how much Endarium do we have? Sweet! That one's automated too. Perfect. I am okay with that. Uh, so then it's just all the thrusters. Don't even get me started on the Dark Solarium one. Because the Dark Solarium ingots and the Flux the flight control units. But then also the fluxed thrusters. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we can definitely do some stuff to um, cut down on the auto processing steps. The auto crafting for the uh, yeah, thrusters. 
Oh, we forgot to key that. So I'm hoping that maybe by the end of this weekend we actually get to our portable tank. I mean, it's kind of looking hopeful. All right, uh, this guy. Oh, you uh, you require a soul binder, huh? Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine and fine and all that. Um, but uh, what about uh, this guy? Oh, it's a crafting recipe, unlike the other part. Fused quartz, no big deal. Electric steel. I should probably make sure we don't have a recipe for that. We auto craft it, but uh, a lot of the other ones I did not get rid of the. Recipe to make them. Good on that one as well. Uh, so yeah, dark solarium. That's actually an easy one. Let's let's get that right this second. Um, tired of waiting for that guy to all the craft. And we got a spot right here for it too. So, um, what uh, what all do you require, the Dark Solarium guy? Uh, thirty-two. Hells in the EU of our tech. Let's see what kind of CEFs I got handy. LEV. That'll do. Uh, can I make a ZPM really quick? It's the one above LEV, I believe. Yeah. Okay. We'll stick with the uh, LEV. Uh, what's your no loss signalum okay we'll, we'll do the 16x for those cables because why not uh, put this right here uh, rotated that way nope damn it why did it switch oh man boop 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 uh, LUV, look at that. Energy input hatches too. Nice, 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 nice. And we can actually make more than just the two energy input, input hatches to make it go even quicker, which would be nice. If we want to do that. Uh, P2P tunnel. Memory card. Boop. And set that. Get a uh, robot arm and a filter. So you're going to take tritium, solarium, and dark steel. Solarium is actually super simple, super simple to make, and I could probably automate it as well. But uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm not going to get a crafting card and be lazy. Uh, crafting workbench. Yes. Thirty bytes to do that. Come on, really. Uh, and we get our face. Uh, I have no clue what this is. Uh, item bus? Input bus. Uh, yeah, well, there's a new kind. Output bus. Uh, yeah, there's a new kind there as well. And that guy is going to go, like, right in the dead center. 
and we're gonna oh shoot I guess we're gonna put it right here instead normally I put it in the center but um there's stuff there already and then uh, let's get a compacting drawer because it, it automatically auto outputs um I got a key uh, we'll, we'll key it in a minute. Uh, the input bus. Oh dear. Let's put that chest back down. Input bus. Uh, yeah, right there is fine. And it, it'll also auto input, but um, you know what, we're gonna use an arm. So what's I'm pretty sure that I didn't actually get what I wanted there. Um, and then we'll need configure it, import, uh, item filter, keep exact. And we just need uh, some solarium. There we go. Connect the interface. Give that a second to come online. And configure it with that. That. Get a crafting card so it'll automatically craft that as needed. Do not show this interface. Whoops, I goofed. Uh, da, 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 da. Where's our chest? Okay. <laughs> My bad. So the. Pickaxe out. You can actually go where you're supposed to go, which is right there. Well, did you see that? How silly. And output bus is going to go above that, but it's going to be facing downward and it'll just auto output so that's cool then input bus uh, I guess it doesn't really matter for this one because it's got the crazy cable oh uh, we usually do those we have yep up there okay so we'll do, we'll do input bus right there and uh, fluid input hatch. Go with that guy. And uh, boop, and boop. Was that tritium? And pump. And uh, any fl I missed the keys there. Give me a fluid face. So, fluid input hatch there. Tritium. Did I not have cable on me? And then the AB interface there. And we actually need to do the arm on that. Uh, interesting. So I guess if you... I'm just doing it wrong, maybe? Huh. Cool, I guess. 
definitely don't want to have it facing the output bus. Seriously, I just did you in the inventory, you're supposed to work. So import, same thing we did last time, keep exact. Dark, solarium, and uh, there's our face. Right there. Dark, no, aw, oh, man, get back here. Dark. Solarium, don't show, crafting card, and we'll connect that. So there's our inputs, there's our output. Let's get a storage bus so we can access said output. And uh, see, we still have room that we could actually expand and do one, two, two more of the uh, LUV energy input hatches, if we so desired. Looks like we need to make a blast furnace. <gasps> it's the first time that I've tried to make it that we didn't have the items. Gasp. 10 cable, make 100k, thanks. And furnaces. Also make 100 of those. Let's get used for the uh, thrusters, I believe. I'm going to do some uh, heat proof casing. <sighs> I hate that I'm setting this up because it's this is one of those that is going to go away. And uh, what uh, temperature did you need? 8600? Hmm. Err. What is it you make over here? You got helium, you're probably an auto-crafter, aren't you? With the export bus, get out of here with that. Yeah, you make lots of stuff there. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with that one. I'm hoping I might be able to just pull from one of these existing ones. Uh, can't see what number two there does. Oh, nope, you're also auto-crafting. Hey, Dark Solarium is made there. Uh, but Iridium, Vanadium. Uh, we actually auto-process Iridium dust into Iridium, so we can get rid of that. That's good. Um, what's that? That's our, I don't know. We're okay. So, Vanadium. Sorry, I feel like I'm creeping farther and farther away from my microphone. <laughs> uh, da -da -da -da. Great concrete blocks, don't need those. Blink pattern, so... Wow, okay. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we can do both of those elsewhere. Uh, vanadium, you don't require anything too crazy, I don't think. No, you're pretty low tier. Okay, I'm just gonna go grab you and uh, see if we can put you like over here, maybe. Or not. Maybe like over here. Nope, nope, that's, that's Einsteinium. Those are fluids. That's an export bus. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. There we go. Uh, and then what, what else did we have? I think that actually requires the helium. Let's see. C Negative. It does not. Perfect. Okay, we'll take you. And uh, just slip you in over here. With these guys. So, Mr. Dark Solarium. You can stay there, but uh, we are going to have a... Uh-oh. Oh dear. Uh, 
Um, that didn't work to Nope. There we go. That way we're not putting our tritium there anymore. That'll take a minute to process. Uh, tritium. Where do we make tritium? Pretty sure it's an electrolyzer. Oh, centrifuge. Oof, with the tritium. Okay, 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 okay. So, where's that getting done? Which, deuterium is a centrifuge with hydrogen. I think we're good on deuterium, though. Yeah, 34,000 bucks of deuterium. That's just tritium we're not doing so hot on. Uh, so where is that being made? Probably IV, I would imagine. Maybe one of these machines. There's hydrogen being centrifuged. Which, that makes the deuterium. This guy? No. I honestly don't know. Is there a machine here? Nope. Hey, should I? Nope. Nope. Did I maybe, like, put it over here? Like a crazy madman? Shh. That's not a clave. I, um... Uh, what, uh... It takes ADE per tick. It's possible I didn't even put that in a higher tier machine. Uh, huh. So it'd be a centrifuge, right? Is that the only one I see over there? Yep. Only one on that row. Onward to the next row. Not there either. I know for sure it's not there. Probably not any of those. Aye. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. That's that's an issue. Uh we need to bump that up. So eight seconds eighty EU per tick, and this takes forty seconds. So we're gonna go through our deuterium pretty quickly to get that if we upgrade him. But uh we're kinda going to, so I mean that's that's just Something that's going to happen. IV machine hole. I'll go ahead and make 10 of those. All uh, right, we need to set the pump up for two. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Got our yeah, fluid input hatch there. Oh wait, no. We don't need a pump for it. What? Get out of here. It automatically pulls from the, uh, from the thing. Uh, I guess we do have to key that guy after all. Yep, it's good. And, uh, yeah, how's that cycling going? Just fine. And we're going to take du deuterium. Um, there's a vacant spot right here I could use. I could do, uh... Wait, hydrogen, what are we getting from that again? Is, is that just deuterium? Like, I could say, you know, our 
our 34,000 deuterium is probably going to be sufficient for a while, right? And then just pump straight into this other machine. Let's do that. That sounds like a wonderful idea. So let's get our wrench. Say, boop, you're going to output that way now. It's like, what? Really? There's nothing there. What do you mean I'm going to output that way? Oh, no, that's that's what you're going to output into. Okay, can you, can you do that for me? All right, and then it's going to start filling tritium. I'm going to get a Hemi fluid interface for that. To auto output that into. And auto output fluid, there we go. So fluid's empty. I don't know if we have a tritium guy set up over here, or if it's just going somewhere else. But uh, let's connect it. See if we get some tritium. Boom, nice. All right, uh, let's see if that acts as a chest. And we'll just switch over here. Um, so again, you only have the dark solarium pattern. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, break you up, break you up. So move you over, over yonder way. Probably would have been easier to just repurpose that one to auto craft but I did not realize that it only had so few machines. And I had already started with this guy. So, you're just gonna constantly run and uh, make us some, some dark solarium, okay? Break that for a minute. Give it a second to make one so we can get the drawer going. All right, so Oh, really? You don't, uh, okay. I mean, if, if that's the kind of ingot you are. And uh, I am, I'm, all right, so be it. Boom. Already up to two. Nice. Alright, that'll take a little bit out of the auto processing. Um, did I get rid of the recipe? I don't think I did. That's fine, we'll just do it from the console. Goodbye, recipe. with the heat proof casing, that chest. Uh, probably good on the cables for now. Uh, did we finish another chaotic? Sure enough. Let's go finish our last chaotic and then we'll make another uh, neutronium plated uh, watchman digger. Who am I thing it? What's him call it? Alright, da da da. What are you doing up there? That's weird, right? Oh boy. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Uh, is there a chest nearby? Negative. That's so silly that, that this has to be done. Do your thing. Recommended changes. Cool. 
I guess I've got a decent going stream. My bandwidth must be sufficient. <clears throat> Seems to be going a little faster. Chaos shards. Anyway, uh, we were working on the warp engine. Right? So, let's go back to that. Now, the Dark Solarium, that wasn't a lot of crafting steps, so that's fine. Let's see, Mr. Thruster, you take a while to do. And I'm pretty sure that none of that has a crafting recipe, so that should be fine. Just gonna double check. Luminium get. Nope, okay. Um, what was the other one? Fluxed. Because that's... I think we... Uh, we might not auto-make that one. I do not see it, though, so I think we're... I think we might. But like that? Why do we have an instill recipe in there? Get that out of here. We auto-craft that now. I think we ought to craft the carbon mesh even. Yeah, we definitely do. We don't have like dark iron and get nope, okay. Fluxed. Yeah, okay. So uh That's something we should automate. Uh, I'll take the diamond. Do we have that? No, we do not. Let's just do it with the IV stuff that we're doing over here. And we'll just add a fluid, fluid export to this guy. Um, so it's going to take fluid and diamonds. So two things. And it goes into a cloth. Looks like it's just missing a tungsten. Still make a hundred of those. <clears throat> Stabilized redstone, yep. Uh, diamonds. Boop. Uh, I'm gonna have to put it like this so that we can import on the side as well. Maybe a fluid face. Uh, pump. Throw that on there. Redstonia. Gonna wipe out those recipes. Uh, then a regular face with a conveyor. That's annoying. That's desync and desyncing annoying. Yeah, 
A system just kicked off again. Come on, either one. Import mode. Import mode. Wait. There we go. Okay. And auto output. So we need. Oh god. Uh. That chest is not really there. The one in my inventory, or the one that I just placed, or the one that was there before. One of those two chests is fake. Uh, come on now. Come on, server, you can do it. I believe in you. Um, so we need to put those in the faces. Need to get some cables and some emi fluid stuff. Okay. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a storage bus so that we can read from the main storage system. So, yep, that change up right there. Mesh up right there. Mesh up two. Mesh up two. Mesh up two. Mesh up two. And then we just have to actually configure these things. Oh, never mind. It's got the destabilized redstone in there already. So that should start filling up with that. And you should be diamonds. All right. Let's see if it's got uh, got the redstone in. It. Oh my goodness! Really? Well, it's got the diamonds. That's good. Did I do something wrong here? Fluid face, fluid bus. Believe that's right. Oh, that's right. That keeps going offline. That's the thing that keeps happening. And every time it goes offline, it's like, there's so, oh my goodness. I didn't even think about that. The quantum leaking chamber is going offline as well. Uh... Stop going offline. God damn it. You have no diamonds. No diamonds to see here. That also means it's offline. Blarg. I gave you all sorts of dense energy cells and hooked you directly up to the neutronium solar. Why are you running out of power? I guess it's too much for it to handle, guys. kind of annoying. Just kind of. Oh, come on now. I 
I just, I just want to get to the roof. I, I just want to see what, what's going on here. I'm just going to keep flying even if I do make it because I know I'm not really going to be making it. Uh, and I don't see the chaotic one that we broke either. Hopefully that's just a glitch. I think we're close. enough stop it stop it stop going offline yeah, I mean I'm I'm at a loss. I have about two stacks worth of energy cells connected. Each energy cell is 1.6 million AE. So, I mean, I've got more than a sufficient amount of energy cells to accommodate for the transfer rate that it's trying to get. Yeah, I mean, this guy is full as can be, it's just... <sighs> it's, it's just that we use the P2P tunnels for our power transfer. I guess we should just go back and switch everything with conduits again? I mean, I thought this would be a good idea. I really did. Like, that's that's one of the things they recommend for this pack is... P2P for power transfer. Near infinite power transfer. But it's not. Is it? Well, um, I mean, I really don't want to deal with this all day, so I guess I'm going to wrap things up for the stream. Thank you for, for joining me on my, um, disappointing power issue stream. That looked like that chaotic was done, though. This guy's all P2Ps, but never had issues with power with this guy before, so that's good. Unlikely not the issue. Boom. Okay. Yep. Good game, guys. Um, I'll see you again on the next stream.